Again, a very typical application of the work energy theorem. A particle of mass 500 gram is moving in a straight line with velocity u is equal to b x to the power 5 by 2. The work done by the net force during displacement from x equal to 0 to x equal to 4. So, by work energy theorem, we can say that work, the total work, which is work done by all forces, is equal to change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy, which is half m into vf square minus vi square. What is m? m is 0.5. Now we need to find out Vf and Vi. What is given to us? U as U is given to us as B into x to the power 5 by 2. So what is Xi? Xi is V or rather U when x is equal to 0. Sorry, uh, what is Vi? Vi is V when x is equal to Xi. Xi equal to 0. So Vi is B into 0 to the power 5 by 2 which is equal to 0. What is Vf? Vf is that V when x is equal to xf. xf is equal to 4 and therefore Vf is equal to B into 4 to the power 5 by 2. Right? So instead of Vf square, we can substitute B into 4 to the power 5 by 2, the whole square, minus, instead of Vi square, we can substitute Vi is equal to 0, 0 square. So, when you take the square of b into 4 to the power 5 by 2, b the square is b square, 4 to the power 5 by 2, 4 to the power 5 by 2, the whole square is 4 to the power 5 by 2 into 2. Why? Because a to the power m, the whole power n is a to the power mn. So, Two by two is one, so what we get is b square into four to the power five. Now, what's the value of b? It is given to us as 0.25. So, what is b square? It is 0.2. Point, point. Wait, let me just confirm this. Is it 0.25 or 0.5? Take b is equal to 0.25. Okay. So we'll take b as 0.25 to simplify this calculation. What I've done is, what is 0.25 in terms of fraction? Yeah, that's one by four. So what is 0.25? Two five square, one by four square. What is 0.5? 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 cube into 4 to the power 5. 4 to the power 5 by 4 to the power 3 is 4 to the power 5 minus 3, which is 4 to the power 2. 16 joules.